Hello, world changers. Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you all feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's fast math assessment. Each week, we will practice a specific question type. Now, these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need some more practice, I'll point you in the right direction to get you more practice at the end of this video today. So stay tuned. All right, y'all, the focus for this week is drum roll. Multiple choice. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fourth grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try to solve this one on your own first. Then when you're ready to continue, press play, come on back, let's check your work. Welcome back, fourth grade. Let's go over this one. All right, this one says, what is the value of the expression below? An expression means that we're considering the part that doesn't have an equal sign. So down there we have three, times three fourths. Now, I'm gonna go with the when in doubt, draw it out strategy first, and then I'll show you also the standard algorithm that you can do. So depending, you may have solved it a different way, but I'm going to go ahead and show you two ways that I would suggest doing this. So I know that three times three fourths, when we're multiplying, we have groups of equal things. So that means that we would have three groups with three fourths in each group. So if I draw that out, I would need three groups representing three fourths. So here's one group, break it into fourths, and I can shade in three of them. Okay. And because we have that three in front, that means it's happening three times. Ooh, there we go. Okay. So now that means I have three fourths here, three fourths here, and three fourths there. Three fourths plus three fourths is six fourths, and six fourths plus 3 fourths equals 9 fourths. Is that an answer choice? Nope, 4 ninths is, but that would be the reciprocal of it. It's not the same. 3 fourths is not the same. Uh, I'm sorry, 4 ninths is not the same as 9 fourths. So we can eliminate A. B says 9 twelfths, but we need an answer that says 9 fourths. And now we have a mixed number for C and D. We have two and a fourth and three and three fourths. So the way that we can think about this is nine fourths could be decomposed into four fourths, that would be a whole, four fourths, that would be eight fourths, plus another fourth. So we can decompose or break down nine fourths into four fourths plus four fourths plus one fourth. Now four fourths is one whole and four fourths is one whole, therefore we have two holes and one fourth. So it would not be three and three fourths, which is D, it would be C. Okay, so we can, that is one way to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and lock in my answer up there. That is modeling with a drawing and using repeated addition to solve and also decomposing that number. Now you may have done it a different way. Maybe you did it like this, where you had three times three fourths and you said that three times three equals nine, so nine fourths. That would have been fine too, and then you could know how to change it into a mixed number there. You could also change it into a mixed number like this by creating a division expression, and we know that four goes into nine two times, which would be a remainder of one fourth. Well, a remainder of one, or written in a fraction as one fourth. So that is a couple different ways there to solve that one. C is your answer, so go ahead and pause the video to make any notes that you still need to make onto your paper, and when you are ready to continue, press play. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. 
If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you've got to put in intentional practice and you've got to throw down your very best effort each and every time. I most certainly believe in you, but the magic and the power really happens when you start to believe in yourself. I'll see you next time, world changers.